Black grouse was once a common sight in the English uplands, but now it's on the brink of extinction. They're such an amazing species, you know, that bubbling call when the males are lecking. Uh, you know, it's a unique part of that upland landscape. They're just one of the best wildlife spectacles that you'll see in this country. And they're also an indicator species of these high quality upland landscapes that we have here. Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust have been working on black grouse uh, since the 1990s. We initially monitored a decline in north of England, particularly in the Pennines. Uh, we've engaged with farmers and landowners, and we've seen steady recovery through our advice in the North Pennines. But black grouse are still range restricted, so we've pretty much lost them from Northumberland, from the North York Moors, and more or less from Cumbria now. Um, we're looking to, with a healthy North Pennines population, to um, reinstate their former range. Um, so we've got some funding currently that's, that's due to expire from Natural England uh, through their species recovery programme. And we're looking to translocate some of those birds from uh, Teesdale, Weirdale, down to the North York Moors. We've been working with landowners there to improve habitats, make sure all the measures are in place so that we can you know, build up a healthy population back there again. There's two aspects of the project. One is the translocation of birds into the North York Moors. The second aspect of it is looking more detailed into the breeding ecology of black grouse here in the North Pennines. As part of this range expansion project, we aim to re-establish a population of black grouse in the North York Moors, where the climate and the habitat is suitable for them to thrive. If this conservation translocation is successful, which we hope it will be, this will be the first time black grouse have bred in the North York Moors for almost 200 years. So using GPS tags, we're able to measure habitat use, the movements of birds, um, how long they survive, uh, where they go to lek, and, and even attendance patterns by different females, number of breeding attempts, where they nest. Um, so we really get a great deal of data that we just couldn't get in any other way. And the future of black grouse in, in the uplands really depends on us having this detailed understanding so that we can inform land management. Your donation will directly support this habitat restoration, but in the shorter term, just enable us to get out there and tag more birds so that we can secure the future for black grouse. Every donation, big or small, helps us get one step closer to conserving this iconic species.